as human beings, we all love God's creatures, but what happens when these animals turn on us? Animal attack movies have been around since movies started, partially because I think it's fairly cheap to show an animal attack on film. You can train an animal, of course, and then it's an easy monster. You don't need any makeup, you don't need any special effects. You just kind of have a bear walk on screen and scare everybody. So what really matters is how do you make an animal scary? A great example of a low-budget film making animals scary is Chris Kentis's Open Water. Like I tell everybody, if you see a shark and you don't want to see it, close your eyes. No problem. <laughs> Open Water is a very realist story of a couple who accidentally gets left behind while they are scuba diving. Daniel, where's the boat? It's a good question. I guess it's one of those. You've got to be kidding me. They are stuck just floating in their scuba suits, hoping for the best, and everything goes wrong. <laughs> Chris Kentis and his wife, cinematographer and producer Laura Lau, were both scuba divers, so they were inspired to tell this story not only because they had heard similar real stories, but because they knew that they had the ability to film it cheap. Open Water uses prosumer cameras. It's all very realistic digital footage that feels like a vacation. It actually opens with extended sequences that are just kind of regular couple on a vacation stuff. So by the time it hits the horror, it feels very realistic and very sad. <laughs> Actor-director Adam McDonald had an idea to make a version of open water in the woods, and with that concept, he made backcountry. Alex? What? Stay quiet. You're scaring me, Stay what? Quiet. Stay quiet. Did he come back? Backcountry, quite simply, is one of the most terrifying bear attack movies there is. It came out around the same time as The Revenant, but a lot of people pointed out that while this is a low-budget Canadian movie, its bear attack is a lot more realistic and a lot more effective. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> The complete opposite of low-budget, low-profile animal attack movies is the high-profile, over-the-top Louis Teague's Cujo. Cujo is obviously based on a Stephen King story. It was at the time where every King story was being adapted, and you had to wonder, how are they going to adapt this one about an evil Saint Bernard? The sense of claustrophobia in Cujo is so wonderful, because for the most part, the mother and her son are just trapped in this car, and they are just screaming and trying to find a way to get out. It's not a monster, it's just a doggy. Another great part of Cujo is Cujo is only one of the things they're fighting against. While he is this horrible monster, the real thing they're fighting against is dehydration, starvation, heat stroke, caught in this car in the summer and when they can't leave. Back in that barn, damn you. Of course, you cannot talk about monstrous animal attacks without the granddaddy of them all, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Don't they ever stop migrating? I love the birds because, especially nowadays, it seems like a totally preposterous idea. This idea that <laughs> suddenly you're gonna have a, an old movie where birds are just dive bombing people, it sounds so stupid, and yet it remains incredibly effective.
When you're working with something as silly as a bird attack, you really need to go out of your way to show how horrific it is. And I think Hitchcock does a good job of this as well by often showing the aftermath rather than the attack itself. We've all seen B-movies. We know what it's like when you stick a fake bird on somebody and they're just screaming. But instead, if you see, for instance, the man with his eyes pecked out or a school teacher just collapsed on her face, it just pulls at your guts. Seeing people's faces, understanding the kind of horror they're seeing, it still works to this day. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. Something terrible is It's the end of the world. So the next time you are passing by what seems like a peaceful animal, maybe keep in mind these terrifying movies and how bad things can turn on a dime.